Welcome to the enchanting world of Coppelia. In this video, we invite you to delve into the timeless tale of love, illusion, and mischief that unfolds in this beloved ballet. Join us as we unravel the intricate layers of the story, introducing you to the vibrant characters, their hopes, and their dreams. From the joyous village festivities to the mysterious workshop of an eccentric inventor, we'll guide you through the twists and turns that will ignite your imagination and transport you to a realm where dolls come to life and love triumphs over deception. The story of Coppelia unfolds against the backdrop of a vibrant town festival, where the air is filled with excitement and anticipation. The lively and spirited mazurka, a traditional Polish folk dance, sweeps the stage, infusing the scene with joy and energy. The townspeople gather to celebrate the arrival of a new bell, and the town crier's voice reverberates through the streets, announcing a special reward for those who marry during the festivities. Amidst the festive atmosphere, we meet Swanhilda, a spirited and inquisitive village girl who is deeply in love with a boy called Franz. However, Swanhilda's heart grows heavy as she notices Franz's attention seemingly drawn towards a mysterious girl named Coppelia. Perched motionless on the balcony of a nearby house, Coppelia's beauty captivates Franz. Frustrated by Franz's apparent infatuation, Swanhilda resorts to a superstitious test of love. She shakes an ear of wheat against her own head. But to her dismay, no rattling sound reaches her ears. Seeking confirmation, she shakes the ear of wheat by Franz's head, and he claims to hear the rattle. Swanhilda, unconvinced and heartbroken, flees. In the midst of these emotional tumults, the mysterious figure of Dr. Coppelius emerges from his dwelling, a place filled with a faintly diabolical aura. The town's mischievous boy sees the opportunity to taunt him, but he dismisses them, unaware that he has dropped his keys amidst the commotion. Swanhilda, discovering the fallen keys, realizes this is her chance to uncover the secrets surrounding Coppelia. Consumed by her curiosity, Swanhilda gathers her friends and concocts a daring plan to enter Dr. Coppelia's enigmatic abode. Meanwhile, Franz, driven by his own desires, devises a reckless scheme of his own, scaling a ladder to reach Coppelia's balcony, yearning for a glimpse of the bewitching figure. As Swanhilda and her friends venture deeper into the dwelling, they find themselves engulfed in a vast room brimming with people. But upon closer inspection, they realize that these figures are not ordinary people, they are life-sized mechanical dolls, frozen in their artificial forms. Intrigued, the girls swiftly wind up the dolls, setting the gears in motion and observing their mechanical grace. Amidst their exploration, Swanhilda's eyes catch sight of a hidden figure, Coppelia, concealed behind a delicate curtain. To her astonishment, she discovers that Coppelia, too, is a doll. However, their escapade is interrupted by the return of Dr. Coppelius, who stumbles upon the girl's intrusion. Filled with anger and frustration at their trespassing, he swiftly ushers them out. But fate takes an unexpected turn as Dr. Coppelius glimpses Franz lingering at the window, his yearning for the mysterious Coppelia undeniable. Driven by his own ambitions, the inventor extends an invitation to Franz, drawing him into his intricate web. Revealing his ultimate desire to bring Coppelia to life, Dr. Coppelius unveils his plan, a daunting ritual that requires a human sacrifice. With a concoction of magic spells, he intends to extract Frances' spirit and infuse it into the motionless doll, transforming her into a living being. The stage is set, the trap laid, and Franz unwittingly succumbs to the effects of a sleeping potion cunningly concealed within a glass of wine offered by Dr. Coppelius. As the young man slips into a slumber, the inventor prepares for his mystic conjuring. Unbeknownst to Dr. Coppelius, Swanhilda, concealed behind the safety of a curtain, witnesses the unfolding scene. Thinking quickly, she seizes the opportunity to save France from the clutches of the diabolical plan. Donning Coppelia's garments, Swanhilda cleverly orchestrates an illusion, feigning the doll's awakening and bringing her to life in the eyes of Dr. Coppelius. Confusion overtakes the inventor as Swanhilda skillfully rouses Franz from his slumber, ensuring his escape from the perilous fate that awaited him. With cunning precision, Swanhilda winds up the mechanical dolls, enlisting their aid in their daring flight to freedom. Dr. Coppelius, caught amidst a whirlwind of emotions, experiences both bewilderment and sorrow as he discovers the lifeless Coppelia behind the curtain, his dream of bringing her to life shattered. As the third act of Coppelia commences, Swanhilda and Franz stand on the threshold of their long-awaited union, 
ready to exchange their wedding vows. However, just as the couple prepares to take their sacred oaths, a figure emerges, shattering the tranquility of the moment, the furious and aggrieved Dr. Coppelius. Claiming damages for the chaos inflicted upon his workshop, he disrupts the ceremony. In this crucial moment, the mayor of the town intervenes. As a symbol of goodwill and reconciliation, he presents Dr. Coppelius with a bag of money, an offering that appeases the injured inventor. With the conflict resolved, Swanhilda and Franz proceed into the chapel, the sacred space where their love and commitment will be consecrated. The celebrations commence, and the stage comes alive with the enchanting waltz of the hours. Each passing moment is personified by a dance, from the gentle hues of dawn to the fervent embrace of day, from the solemn hour of prayer to the exuberant expressions of jubilation in various dances performed by the assembled cast. The climax of this jubilant occasion arrives with the highly anticipated Grand Pas de Deux, a spellbinding and romantic duet performed by Swanhilda and Franz. Their technical prowess and undeniable chemistry mesmerizes the audience. This pinnacle moment of the ballet symbolizes their reconciliation and impending marriage, a testament to the power of love triumphing over obstacles. As we conclude our exploration of the ballet Coppelia, we are left with a profound appreciation for its timeless story and enduring significance. Coppelia serves as a reminder that appearances can deceive as it invites us to reflect on our own desires and aspirations, urging us to question the illusions that may captivate our hearts. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the magical realm of Coppelia. Let its profound story resonate in your hearts and ignite an appreciation for the beauty and depth of the ballet arts.